six minutes to go, we are practically sucking the cock of the Grand Slam. <laughs> ah, it tastes good. Mom, did you and I use it? <laughs> I'll second that. Am I not a homo? Oh, we get the head gun on now here because it's a diamond match now. We're definitely just escaping. What the hell's going on? <laughs> it's a fridge, isn't it? The blues, they say. Any predictions? Like race for a bell, Wales every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed with the, uh, the cups and sauces. <laughs> Timothy, I think uh, <laughs> I think I could do a job out on the pit. <laughs> I'm not sure that the ground's going to be very happy about it at all. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> it was weird, did really. Didn't know which fence team turned up, and we've been And the boys are out there. As Jonathan Davis once said, never in <laughs> Watch how quickly Griff moves in here when he knows there's champagne or fizzy sweet wine. Griff? Griff! Some champagne. Come on. <laughs> if I was a younger man, I'd pour this out my head now. I'm nearly 40, so fuck it. I'm gonna drink it. We just won the Grand Slam. Go on, go of the new Welsh coach Warren Gatlin and on this set of players it has been in the end majestic it's a foot race and Shane Williams is going to get it out Six Nations ever since the moment they turned that Twickenham game around. That was their stroke of luck when England fell asleep on them. But ever since then, they've been masters of their own destiny. They've played the best rugby in the championship. And this, the try by one of their star players of the campaign, just seals everything. Oh, God.